time now for a full look at weather with our weather authority meteorologist, Lisa Montgomery. Hey there, Lisa. Hi, yes, we had some dry weather today. We got to enjoy some sunshine, just a little on the breezy side. Very breezy. Yeah, very pleasant though. I would, I'd say seasonably cool. We did have temperatures in the 70s and the 60s for the most part. And we'll see that again tomorrow, maybe a little bit cooler. We'll have to get through tonight and tomorrow morning. We've got those numbers crashing overnight. Temperatures falling into the low to the mid 40s, even the upper 30s, possibly the low 30s too in some spots in those uh, far southern interior locations. We could be close to that freezing mark. So something to be aware of. Definitely need the warm coat as you head out the door tomorrow morning all across the central coast. Right now you can see we've got some clearing skies, still some stratus low clouds around uh, for the bay and some of the valley area. So we're going to call it partly cloudy, but we will see mainly clear skies as we get into the morning, early morning hours. It's going to be a chilly one, but at least things are looking calm here. Those winds have calmed down. It was a windy day today with those northwest winds all due to that front that pushed through last night. High pressure moving in from the west, so we had some windy conditions. And uh, again, we could see some breezy conditions tomorrow as well. Not quite as strong, but still expect that sea breeze. It will be a dry and quiet Wednesday, Thursday looking nice too. And then we've got a slight chance for some rain on Friday as another system tries to sweep through. Looking dry for the weekend though, but we're focusing on what's going to be happening as we get into early next week. There could be a storm system that will bring us some very wet weather. The rain totals could be well over an inch. So it is still too early to time this all out and have the specifics. So just be weather aware and you'll want to stay tuned to what's happening as we get closer to Tuesday and it could linger into Thursday too. So we're looking at some wet weather for next week. For tonight though, those winds were still out of the north northwest and they are calming down a little bit here. So we will see those pick up again for tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine, a breezy day and those temperatures hopefully will rebound as we get into the afternoon hours with the sunshine, but we're still going to be slightly below average with temperatures mainly in the 60s and a few 70s there. Right now you can see we've got the 40s. We're dropping down to the low 40s in a lot of locations and we're going to continue to see those numbers fall. So again, a, a chilly start as we head into our Wednesday and even Thursday. Could be even colder Thursday morning before we begin to see a little bit more of a warm up as we get into the weekend. So here's what's happening. That storm system that pushed through last night tracking well off into the central part of the country and we've got that high pressure still over the Pacific that's still trying to slide in here and that's what's going to give us the dry weather over the next several days. We do have a little system from the north here as you can see as we head into Thursday night and into Friday. It's going to bring an increase in clouds for Thursday later in the day and then maybe a chance for some very light rain across the area as we get into the late hours here overnight Thursday into Friday. But look how it kind of dissipates and breaks up. So it's not going to be a big deal. It's this system here that we're going to be watching and we're concerned with as we head into late Monday night overnight into Tuesday. This is Tuesday evening. You can see we are looking at some dark green here, some showers and more on the way. So it's a pretty pretty big system if, if this holds together and you can see even through Wednesday, we're still looking at rain and this could last through Thursday and that will bring those rain totals up. So that's what we're concerned about and we'll have to watch just be weather aware as we head into next week. Here's a look at your forecast then for tonight. We're looking at those lows in the 40s and then tomorrow we'll be in the upper 60s to the low 70s. Boulder Creek 72 degrees east of the bay in Salinas. We'll be looking at 67 for the high after a cool start with 43. 42 for San Juan Batista. The same for Hollister. Temperatures there only staying in the 60s to 70 degrees. Around the peninsula, it's going to be cool when you wake up too. We'll be in the 40s and then temperatures in the low to the mid 60s for the most part. And then as we head into those uh, interior locations, this is where we see those cool numbers. Bradley waking up with 38 degrees. Look at Parkfield, 33, the San Antonio Valley, 38, even up through the Pinnacles, 37 for the morning low. And then we're looking at temperatures staying in the 70s, even the upper 60s for a lot of these locations. So definitely below average for this time of the year. We will gradually warm up, especially as we head into the weekend, becoming more seasonal. And then we've got those rain chances as we head into early next week. Same for the interior locations here. We're looking at lots of sunshine for the weekend and temperatures 
temperatures in the 70s, cooling off next week with rain. Thank you so much, Lisa.